I'm Dr. Denise Su, Curator of Paleobotany and Paleoecology. I mean, just think of all the things that even 50 years ago would not be possible, or 100 years ago. Electricity, 200 years ago, would have been thought of as magic. But science enables it to happen, and science enables us to understand the processes. And it's, I think, a the deeper way to understand the world around us and how we can interact with it. My mom had this book of science experiments for kids. And it was just really simple things like what happens when you freeze water, right? Really, really simple concepts. But that was a Saturday afternoon activity and we did it together and it was a lot of fun. And I didn't see that as science. Right? That was just something we did that was fun. Um, and my mom always chased us out of the house, probably because there's four of us and we're very noisy, but she always told us to go out and play. And we did. We climbed trees, we gathered leaves, we dug holes. I mean, we did all sorts of things. We fished for tadpoles and, you know, um, and that really gave me an appreciation of the natural world. That is probably really the genesis. I mean, I never really thought about it that much, but I really think it's that really, really early childhood experience that really got me interested in the natural world. I do a lot of research at individual fossil sites which is a lot of fun. I enjoy that. I work in Tanzania, I work in Ethiopia. Um, but for the next stage in my research, what I would really like to do and what I'm really excited about is being able to collect really detailed uh, ecological data in modern ecosystems and then use that as a way to try to figure out what the environment and the inter interactions that our fossil rel relatives had. Um, so in paleontology, a lot of things are extinct, right? They don't exist anymore. And so the way that we get to understand how they moved, how they ate, how they lived, all these questions is based on modern analogs. It's based on understanding their modern relatives. And then we basically go backwards. The reason for wanting to know what it was like is so that I can know, or we can know, how our ancestors interacted with the environment and how the environment might have shaped our evolution. I'm Dr. Denise Su, a woman in science. <laughs>